Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, beauty maven and celebrity makeup artist, and I'm here with my beautiful model, Kirsty Stalder, and we're actually talking about how to do makeup for the 1700s. We're actually talking about hair today, too, a little bit. So, Kirsty has a beautiful face and great features. She has naturally curly hair. Her hair, we have just pulled it back and kind of you know, fastened it towards the back and let it just the natural curls. I think for this look, they did a lot of ringlets and a lot of updos during this time, but this just looks very natural and pretty and speaks to that time naturally. Um, as far as her makeup, we did some very pale, pale skin. So this is something that you could wear either for characterization, say for Halloween or a specific purpose, or we're sort of doing our own modern day spin on 1700 days, 1700s makeup. So with her look, we've, um, as I said earlier, we've lightened her foundation a little bit so it's a lot more highlighted and that can actually work really well. You'll notice that with brunettes, there's a higher contrast level here between her hair and her makeup so we don't want to make her look too pale. But she's definitely a couple shades lighter than I would normally do her foundation. Because at that time, that's what they did. They wore more of a pale face. Highly powdered, which we're going to do on camera for a minute. Not to the point that we want a chalky finish because, again, we're doing a modern spin, right? Pretty color, and you'll see harmony here on the cheek and the lip, and that's very important. And what I want you to notice about this look is that it's more of a stained look. So the lip is actually, we did no lip liner. She has absolutely gorgeous lips. So we just went ahead and with minimal application, just put down a color that complements this cheek color. During this time period, and if you look at artwork and, you know, pieces that way, photographs, um, there's actually a highly pigmented area here and they did more of a round shape to the cheekbone. Again, modern day spin, so we're doing more along her natural cheekbone. She has a great structure to her face. Very neutral eye shades, minimal eye pencil because they just didn't have a whole lot of that kind of thing. Everything was applied with fingertips, probably plant-based, plant and, and fruit-based products. So we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit more powder just to give you an idea a little bit more highlight here. I think if you're playing a character, this makeup could be highly effective. What I want you guys to consider though is think about, you know, the pretty harmonizing between the cheeks and the lips. I think that's a that's a fundamental principle that works well in any time period. Great. I'm Lisa Nelson and that is how I would do hair and makeup inspired by the 1700s.